What's up guys, hope you all are doing great. In this video, we'll be creating a password generator for all you guys who like using the same password. This is gonna be a lifesaver. But before we get started, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe, like the video guys. My challenge for this video is to actually get 50 likes. So please make it possible for me. And you know what, let's get started. The ID I'm using is PyCharm, but you can use whatever ID you prefer. You could use Visual Studio Code or Atom or whatever ID you prefer. And yeah, all you need to do is create a new project. I already have a project, but you create a new project. And after that, and then when you create a new project, all you need to do is go to your file, you click on new, and you click create a new Python file. I already have a Python file, so I'm not gonna create that. And right here, you can see in our app.py. And look guys, you can see that we have the comments right here because this is the way you should actually program. You should write out the comments so you know the step. It's almost like, having a destination so it's very easy to get to a destination if you actually have a way to go to that destination so that's the whole point of using comments in your code a lot of newbies don't do that but it's really important and that's why i make sure i actually put them up in the tutorial so so you guys can see that this is the process of actually solving and getting to the solution of a problem or a project you're trying to solve the two modules that will make this project faster and actually possible is random and string so we'll import random I will also import string okay so you can see right here we've imported the modules what we need to do next is we need to print some user experience and this is what we're going to print when the program is run the first time just to create some more interactivity it's going to say this hey no more using the same password let me help you generate passwords now, after this message has been printed on the console, the next thing that will happen is that we'll ask you, oh, what is the length of your password? How long do you want your password to be? So we'll create a variable called length. We set that equal to int. And why we're setting it to int is because we're getting input and input is always a string. So that's why we're setting it to int. Now we'll do a line break just so that there's a little bit of space between each message. It's going to say enter the length of your password. Now when that happens, we create a space here just so that there's space between what we'll write and the last word right here, which is this colon. Now when we do that next, we'll also ask for the amount. So we'll create a variable called amount. And what this amount is, is we want to give you options. So it's not just one password. We're going to generate as many different passwords you want so you can choose from that. So that's the whole purpose of that. So it's the same thing, basically. I'm just gonna copy this out and we'll change the message inside. And here it's going to say enter the amount, not length. of unique password gener generators, generations, <laughs> or just unique passwords. Enter the amount of unique passwords you want. So now that we have the two messages, the next thing we need to do is we just need to define data. So we need to define some data. And the data we'll be defining is that we'll have a lower and lower will just be lower case of the alphabet. So we'll say string. And now we're using the string module. So it's going to say ASCII lowercase. And then we'll also have upper. And upper will be quite similar, but it will be ASCII uppercase. After that, we'll have number and we'll create a variable called num and then we'll say string dot number digit. Now we have string dot digit. The next one we'll have is we'll have symbols because a strong password always has symbols. I'll say string dot punctuation. 
now that we have all these, what we need to do next is we need to create a for loop. And this for loop will basically just run on how many different amounts of passwords we want or how many different unique passwords we want. So we'll create a for loop, we'll say for i, and this i could be anything, we'll say for i in range. I'm just using i, but you could use tomatoes, you could use whatever in amount. And then what we'll do here is that we'll create a variable called all, and all will be a combination of all the data. So it's going to be lower plus upper plus number and also plus symbols. And after that, we'll use use random. So this is the random module we actually imported. Now we're going to use it. We'll create a variable called temp. And we'll set that equal to random dot sample. And then inside there, we'll get all and also the length. Now that we've done that, it's time to actually create the password. So we'll create another variable called password. And we'll set that equal to an empty string dot join. So we're basically going to join the different unique characters we get join that in temp. And now that we've done that, we're practically done. All we need to do next is we need to actually print our password. So we print and then we put password inside. Now we're done. All we need to do is go to our terminal and actually run it. So I'll run it right here. I'll say app.js. Oh, <laughs> said app.js, oh my gosh, my JavaScript is app.py. And then you can see right here, it says, hey, no more using the same password. Let me help you generate passwords. And then it asks you for your length, I'll say 10. And then it also asks, enter the amount of unique passwords you want. Mm, I want 10 unique passwords. And now you can see we have them all right here. We have 10 unique passwords and you can count it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And these are all 10 unique character or different passwords and you can easily just choose whatever, write it on the book and yeah, you have a new unique password. Seriously guys, this is really important. Stop using the same passwords for different accounts and different things. So hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe and you know what, I'm going to wrap this up and I'll see you all in the next video.